Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's concept is stage logging. Log means to keep in written record of something. Like nowadays we we post our activities on the social media. I means social media keeps a record of our daily activities or something. Like we are watching movie, we are going to this place, we are doing this. So we generally post all this on the social media. Similarly, we can write down all the activities of the bot with the help of staged logging. So whenever we create a process in Blue Prism, we use multiple actions or multiple stages in this process and each session have a property of stage logging we can see on the bottom of the action or stage so let's open this start stage or we can see this you can see this property in, in all the stages so let me show you how we how this property works this stage logging property how it works so let's create a process in which we will do some calculation let's take two data item and one calculation stage assign the data type to the data items write down an expression in this calculation stage and stage logging set enabled so it is enabled as of now let's make a copy of this calculation stage and link this so this is our flow start calculation one calculation one and add and so there are three types of stage logging enable disabled and errors only we will see it later first for all the stages the stage logging is enabled for all these four stages the stage logging is enabled and we are saving the process and let's move to the control room and run this process it's running we can see it's completed now now click on this you can see the session log viewer so this is the we can say this is the output of the stage logging we can see the stage name stage type result resource every detail here uh, resource starts so you can compare it like stage name start stage calculation one calculation one and end we can use this stage logging for write down the activities of n stage so if you like let's say i don't want to write down the activity of first calculation so i disable the stage logging of first one and it is enabled for the calculation two i have renamed this now save the process and run this the calculation once stage logging is disabled and for calculation two it's enabled now let's run the process it's completed so this process is in background run mode and if you want to know more about the run modes you can watch our previous video now see the logs start calculation 2 and end so that calculation 1 stage is not written down written down by the bot because stage logging was disabled these are the parameters so parameters tab is blank because we haven't we haven't passed any parameter in these stages so generally we passed parameter input or output parameters in action stage in pages stage or end or start stage also we can check out our logs from system tab go to system tab in under audit you can see process logs and you can apply the filters and we can see the logs here as well you can see the session log viewer from here also see Similarly, we can see the object log. Now, if we want to write down the no logs, then we can enable this stage logging. Otherwise, we can disable this. And if we want to write down only if there is any error, occur error occurred in this stage, then only it will write down the error message or the statement related to this stage in the log 
लोक लोक्स फाइल और वी कैन से लोक सेशन व्यूअर सो वी कैन सेट दिस टू एरट्स ओनली ऑल द स्टेजिस हैव दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ स्टेज लॉगिंग यू कैन सी बाई डिफॉल्ट इन प्रोसेस स्टूडियो मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रॉपर्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टेजिस हैव अनेबल स्टेज लॉगिंग इज इनेबल्ड फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टेजिस इन प्रोसेस स्टूडियो फॉर एक्शन स्टेज इज इट इज एरर ओनली नाउ लेट से देर आर टू हंड्रेड स्टेजिस इन दिस प्रोसेस एंड वी वॉन्ट टू सेट द स्टेज लॉगिंग फॉर ऑल द स्टेजिस फॉर दिस यू हैव टू गो टू एडिट टैप एंड यू कैन सेलेक्ट ऑल स्टेजिस वॉन्ट टू सेट द सेम स्टेज लॉगिंग फॉर ऑल द एक्शन ऑल द स्टेजिस यू कैन यूज दिस प्रोपर्ट दिस एक्शन सो नाउ दिस विल चेंज द स्टेज लॉगिंग वैल्यू ऑफ ऑल द स्टेज टू दिस डेटा आइटम हैज नॉट एनी स्टेज नॉट एनी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ स्टेज लॉगिंग बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेस फ्लो एंड ऑल्सो जनरली वी डोंट सेट द प्रॉपर्टीज टू अनेबल्ड बिकॉज if we set the properties of uh, if we set this stage logging enabled for all the stages and that process have multiple or we can say 200 stages and now this bot is processing 2000 items so every time bot will access those uh, 200 stages so this will increase the then we will get a huge amount of logs and if we get means this and this process of uh, like writing the logs will also take time because if we are writing for 200 stages for each item then it will take time and it will impact the pro, uh, item processing time means that process will take more time to process an item or a case and also it will impact the memory of the runtime resource we can get uh, some errors like that's why we don't enabled stage logging for all the actions and also like in uh, for action stages we pass some value or some data that is that can be pii means personal information or some sensitive data so if we enabled the stage logging for that uh, stage or for that action where we are inputting or outputting some pi information so this that information will available in the logs manager which is not a good practice so we should hide our personal information or all other data so for while using action stages or start or end stage and if you are passing any input or output then you make sure that you shouldn't enable logging for those stage now you can also control this from the uh, system tab to system tab and under resources click on management and select the resource you can also manage the logging of that particular resource from here you can set it to default all stages key stages errors only and log web services communication log memory uses you can change it from here also sometimes we enable the stage logging from the process but it is uh, disabled from the resource end so we were we, we we can we may be unable to get the logs in the log session viewer so you can change these settings from here as per your requirement so this is a good feature of logging generally we use errors only for all the stages means if there is any error then only that that stage will be able uh, it will be added into the log session view this is really a very good feature if you want to like debug your process or in case of an issue you want to uh 
debug this and you want to know why this issue is occurring so in production environment we don't have access to the studio we can just check the logs and try to find means on which stage the process is getting terminate or it is generating error so this stage logging is really very good feature of blue prism in another tool it is not available like in automation anywhere we have to do it manually means uh, we can put down the data in the in our personal database means after every particular action or a particular activity we can write down it do let me know in case of your any doubts or query